Hey everybody, today I'm going to be talking about the Vasque Canyon Lands Ultra Dry. These are great. <laughs> I, am, I am a huge fan of these and just extremely satisfied with their performance. So, getting into it, what's my experience with them? I've put, man, probably 200 miles, if not more, on these. It's, it's really hard to tell. But I've had these for a little bit more than a year, I believe. And uh, I, I'm just in love with them. Um, I have used them just on concrete, just in the city. I've used them in mud, like rain, dry trails, snow, like both a couple inches as well as close to seven or eight feet of snow. Um, and they have just performed extremely well throughout that whole process. Um, I, I, I really can't say too much or too many good things about these boots. So what are they? These are waterproof hiking boots. They are, they've got leather uppers. They're waterproofed with Vasque's ultra dry technology. I'm guessing it's, pro, pro, it's a proprietary thing, but uh, you know, I'm not, 100% sure about that, but what I do know is they are waterproof. Like I said, I've used these in the snow, like deep, deep, deep snow. I have <laughs> fallen through the snow multiple times with these. Um, let's see, I have gone through a river in these. Not, well, maybe more of a stream, but uh, yeah, I mean, they, they've, my feet have never been wet while wearing these. I mean, it's, it, I'm thoroughly impressed with these boots. So, Let's let's talk about them. So leather uppers, they've got synthetic tongue as well as some synthetic up around the ankles. This is all very very heavy duty ripstop. I'm not quite sure if you can see that on the camera, but those those lines in the ripstop are very heavy duty. And as you can see, I've never ever had any issues with these. Um, let's see, the sole is Vibram. And to be honest with you, when I first picked these up, I was not totally sold on the sole. This tread is, it's a good design, but it's not very aggressive. I mean, of course, these are used, and I have put a fair amount of miles on them, but not very aggressive. And I was worried about not being able to have grip on trails that are muddy or, you know, on like big, like granite rocks. There's a lot of granite where I hike. Um, but I haven't had any issues. I, I think I may have slipped once or twice, but you know, really it's, I mean, I trust them. So when it comes to keeping your feet warm, dry, insulated, all that stuff, I think it's kind of a twofold thing, letting water out and keeping outside water from getting in. I'm not exactly sure how the water gets out and not in, especially because I'm pretty sure, yeah, these are not Gore-Tex. So I, I don't know exactly how they do it, but what I do know is I've never taken my feet out of these boots that have just been soggy, or even really more than just kind of sweaty. Um, however, in the snow, just having snow just caked on here and starting to melt in, and, and you know, especially the, with the tongue area that's not leather, I was kind of worried about that, but I've never had any issues with water and snow getting in. So, waterproofed, great tread surprisingly good. I'm not sure how it'll last long term, but up until this point, so maybe a year and a couple months on either side, I think, uh, it's lasted just fine for me. As far as durability goes, I have noticed that the all of the glue and all of the stitching on both of the boots that I have is completely fine, totally intact. I'm not seeing any peeling. Um, it's it's, they've just held up really, really well. So in comparison to other products, I have owned, as far as hiking boots go, I have owned and hiked in Loa Renegades. Yeah, Renegades, which I loved. But I've hiked in Loa Renegades. I have hiked in Merrill Moabs. And... There's another one that I can't remember off the top of my head, as well as a bunch of boots that I've been issued, um, mainly from Belleville, 
also from Rocky and Nike as well. So in comparison to all of those, I would put these on the same level as the Loa's ever, or Loa Renegade, that is. Um, I mean, it, at least from what I understand, that's kind of the gold standard. I mean, it's right up there with, with um, uh, what's, what's that one called? Salomon, Salomon Quest 4Ds. And I mean, I, I don't hear a lot of people say this, but these, in my experience, are right on that level. Just as waterproof, just as comfortable, just as durable, just as grippy. So, yeah, overall, I just, I, I love these boots, and I'm, I'm really, really excited to keep using them. Um, and full disclaimer here, I don't have any affiliation with Basque. I, I bought these from REI, uh, who I also don't have a disclaimer with. I had to pay full price at a garage sale, because uh, if you're not shopping at garage sales, you are doing something wrong. Uh, yeah, so they're they're just they're great, and a couple things that I forgot to mention just totally got off topic there. Uh, comfort. So the insole, the insole does not feel very squishy. I would liken it to maybe a pair of comfy Vans. Maybe it's not squishy at all. And if I remember correctly, yeah, the insole does not come out. So I was I was pretty worried about that. No, the support is fine. I don't, um, I have pretty flat feet, so I don't need a whole lot of arch support, or maybe I do. But either way, I don't like a lot of arch support. But, so I, so I, I don't really have to worry about replacing the insoles. However, the insoles on these, I, I don't know what it is. I, I don't know if it's the insole or just the overall outsole itself, just how the two work. But despite feeling thin and a little bit hard, not, not super squishy, these have kept my feet from getting sore extremely well. I mean, really. And in comparing the comfort of these to, say, Merrill Moabs, for instance, uh, the Moabs, they had these weird little hard points in them that really just kind of killed my feet. Whereas these... My feet have never been more sore than they would be had I been wearing like sneakers out for the day, just walking around the city or something like that. Uh, these are extremely comfortable for long periods of time. I think the longest I've worn these for was maybe five days straight, where you know I was only taking them off like when I'd crawl into my sleeping bag, putting them on as soon as I got out, and not take them off for the rest of the day. So these don't make my feet sore, and that's really, really wonderful. Now talking about support. Specifically, um, ankle support because you know I, I I do backpack a lot and I do carry a lot of weight when I'm wearing these. Um, I haven't had any any issues with that. Keeping in mind that I do lace my ankles, so from about there up, I lace all that stuff pretty tight and I'll retighten it throughout the day. Not so tight that I'm cutting out circulation, obviously, but tight enough where it's keeping my ankle in place and. I've made it through a couple of scenarios in which I probably should have rolled an ankle or had some kind of issue with my ankle. Didn't happen with these. Uh, got totally messed up in other ways though, like falling down hills and stuff like that. But my hey, my ankles were fine. Thank you, Basque. Um, talking about the laces, normally I replace the laces on hiking boots just because oftentimes they're stupid colors or they're just not made well. Has not been my experience with these. These laces have held up extremely well. And that is from going through underbrush, uh, climbing in and out of vehicles, uh, scraping on fallen trees and doing all sorts of stuff. The laces are in great shape. Talking about the lace attachments, I was not very, I didn't feel very great about the fabric loops that you can see on three and four. However, those have pretty obviously held up very well. They're, they're double stitched to the leather with heavy thread. They've hold up, held up just fine. Now, these, I don't know what to call them. I think just speed lace hooks or whatever. Hooks themselves have been fine. I mean, they always are. One issue that I have with a lot of boots, specifically with the lower Renegades, is the first one. It seems like the first one is always built a little bit heavier than the others. And it's oftentimes set too far back, Loa, 
as well as just being hard to really get the lace around. You do have that issue with these since it does hold the lace pretty tight and with how the tongue is, the lace can slip out sometimes. Sometimes it'll take two to three tries to get it in. But, but once they're in, they're in. They hold very well. And I've noticed that by the design of these, I doubt you'll be able to see that on camera, but they're rounded on the inside. So you're not tearing your, your lace up when you're lacing them through and then tightening them. And it looks to me like there's a little bit of extra metal to keep the lace up off of that hard edge. Um, so when it does hit that edge, it's going at more of an angle. You know what I mean? So overall, I love these. I can't recommend them enough. These have been really, really great to me. These have kept my feet warm in sub-zero conditions for extended periods of time. They are grippy. They've kept my feet dry. They've kept my feet comfortable. They're just awesome boots. And to be honest with you, I don't know why more people don't use these. Man, I really sound like I'm being paid to say this, but I can guarantee you that is not the case. I do not want to be paid for any of this stuff. So I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. As always, love the comments. Love it when people tell me that stuff helped. And I also like constructive criticism. So, as always, if you'd like to drop a comment, if this helped out, I would love to hear back from you. If not, that's totally cool, and I hope that I have maybe influenced your purchase. So, thank you very much. Take care, everyone.